Welcome to the metropolis, the big city. This is where tech, trends, and culture meet. Meet the people. See the sights. Walk the city streets and experience the lifestyle. This is your first class ticket to the cities of the world. Athens. One of the oldest cities in the world, Athens, Greece, is in fact one of the coolest cities too. What it offers is a healthy mix of the old and the new, promising a vibrant people, full of excitement and optimism. Firstly, the city is known for its historical destinations and amazing views. Suonio is one of them. Here you'll find the Temple of Poseidon, with a bunch of amazing beaches nearby. Tourists flock to the place to watch the sunset over the Aegean Sea. The city is also known for its hip and happening cafe culture. It's still very much the usual way of life in Athens, Greece. Old school neighborhoods still have the little cafes that overlook the Acropolis. Athens also offers its fair share of arts and cultural spaces. You'll find a movie theater that screens both foreign and local Greek films. Libraries and bookstores are around too, with a terrace or an outdoor bar to lounge in. Events and art places are spread across the city. One of the more known ones is the Technopolis. It's an industrial museum where tourists can learn about the work conditions in the old plant and how it developed operations during the 19th century. What's great about this place is that throughout the year, there's always an upcoming concert, party, exhibits, and such schedule. Looking for the best shopping stops? Kolonaki is the place to be. It offers a mix of designer brands and affordable labels too. Plus. You can always grab an afternoon coffee or have some cocktails outdoors as there will be places for that nearby. The bar scene is quite upscale and trendy, but definitely worth checking out. Around the city, there are special places dedicated to the nightlife you want. There's a venue for specialty cocktails, accompanied with a lively atmosphere and flowing drinks of various mixes. There's also a place for classic jazz and a chill ambiance. To see the greener part of Athens, head over to the National Gardens. It boasts of a 38-acre area of greenery that is a small zoo, a duck pond, a botanical museum, and a cafe. Definitely a must-visit, especially during the spring and summertime. Lima Lima may be one of the lesser-known tourist destinations, but it's definitely worth the visit. Just a day or two will be enough to convince you to explore it. Here are some reasons why a visit is recommended in the city of Lima. First, it offers a great atmosphere for biking and walking. Various districts of Lima, such as the Miraflores, San Isidro, Barranco and Chorillos are convenient places to take your bike. Lima is also known for its unique and interesting entertainment. There are parks dedicated to water and light shows with at least 13 water fountains in function. And if this isn't enough to convince you, then try the paragliding action in Miraflores. 
definitely a place for thrill seekers. Explore the city to further get to know its rich culture. For this, the artsy Bohemian Barranco is the place to be. It is where people, locals and tourists alike, hang out at night. Barranco is a place to find art galleries, cafes and bars. Left and right, you'll see a lot of street art. Now, when it comes to shopping with a different kind of experience, head over the Larkamar. Larkamar is built on a cliff that is built overlooking the Pacific Ocean, giving you a great, magnificent view. We recommend buying a cup of frozen yogurt, a popular choice that you can enjoy as you appreciate the view. Nearby, you may also find boutiques and restaurants to shop and dine in. Did you know that Lima is also often visited for its great food offerings? First is the ceviche. It's a must-try in the city. The seafood dish is made with fresh raw fish cured in lemon or lime. Oftentimes, it is served for lunch with white corn, sweet potato, and red onions on the side. Definitely a perfect combination of flavors that are unexpectedly delicious. Then of course, there are the alfajores. There are various ways to make it and the dish may vary in size and the ingredients used. But the traditional Peruvian one usually includes cornstarch cookies with creamy caramel in the middle and powdered sugar on top. There are many restaurants around Lima offering their own versions of this dish. You'll surely have a grand time eating! The largest city and the capital of Finland? Helsinki the city is conveniently located between Tallinn, Stockholm, and St. Petersburg, and on the north coast of the Gulf of Finland. It has slowly become the country's hub for business, research, education, culture, and government. Helsinki boasts of a vibrant seaside city, coupled with greenery, parks, and open spaces. There are also fine architecture, and more than 300 islands interconnected by a maze of bridges. The city is in fact considered an ideal summertime retreat and great for weekend getaways. Here's why. First, there's the buzzing street of Alexanterin Katu. It is considered the central commercial street of Helsinki. Lined with cafes, shops, restaurants, and of course, Stockman department store. All these convenient in one spot, Alexanterin Katu Street has become known as one of the famous shopping streets in the city. For fresh produce and great souvenir buys, head to the market square. It is one of the famous tourist attractions in the city and a well-known market destination too. It's an open-air marketplace with fresh local produce and craftsman souvenirs. Now, for a dose of Helsinki's culture, visit the Ateneum Art Museum. It is also known as the National Museum of Art and is home to the most loved classic works of Finnish art. In fact, it houses the most extensive fine art collections in the country with more than 20,000 works on display. You'll see a mix of paintings, graphic art, drawings, and sculptures that date back up to the 17th to the 19th centuries. The city is also known for its church and chapels. These are considered architectural sites in Finland. One example is the Tempeli Aukia Church, built in 1969, which is the most known architectural masterpiece in the country. Meanwhile, you can sit back, relax, and enjoy one of Helsinki's many beaches. The most popular beach in the city is the Hiatiniemi. Enjoy the sun 
the calm waters and the open space for lounging, playing volleyball or simply enjoying the view. Doha, the regional travel hub that connects cities all over Asia and Africa. Rich and extravagant, there are matchless things to do and experience here. For a cultural feat, there is the Museum of Islamic Art. Here you will find the world's finest collection of Persian rugs, Turkish mosaic, and Damascene wood carvings. Walk through the grand halls and courtyards and you'll appreciate the cubism architect of the Muslim minaret. Doha is also the place where you can see an Arabian oryx, or mahas in Arabic. They have two long horns and their profile is very much likened to unicorns. They are also Qatar's national symbol. Also visit one of the souks around the city. You can sip coffee and just relax. Usually, the outside cafes are the best. Order a Turkish coffee medium sweet and have some apple scented tobacco. Who knows, you may chance by a passing parade. The souk is also where you can buy jewelry. Amid the 1960s style buildings are merchants of gold, freshwater pearls and more. You can also have your jewelry custom made here if what's on display doesn't suit your taste. Of course, you can take advantage of the Indian tailors as well. Have a made-to-measure linen suit for a good price or even an Egyptian cotton shirt. Come by the air-conditioned malls. In this city, temperatures may soar to humidity levels reaching about 85%, making it too hot even to swim in the water. The malls will come in handy. There will be many things to do anyway. Catch a movie, ride a roller coaster, race a go-kart, or even glide down a canal in a gondola. If time permits, it's a must that you drive out of town and visit the desert. You'll witness mountains and slabs of sand that you can drive through with a huge vehicle. Or you can simply hang around and have a picnic. Waiting to see Doha at night would truly be worth it. The bursting colors from the city lights are absolutely delightful to see. The people at night are still full of bustling energy. So if you can't sleep at night in Doha, it's not a problem because the city's full of life. Tired of the land and want a little sea breeze? Come down to the Doha Corniche. You can also come down to the beaches and let the waves tickle your feet. Want to ride a boat? You can find them in the Corniche. Munich The city of Munich holds a lot of great mystery with a dozen of fun and unique things to do and discover. Regardless of your interests, you will surely find something to marvel at, enjoy, and take part in Munich. Most famous perhaps is the Oktoberfest. It lasts for 16 days from late September to early October. It is a beer festival, celebrating the city's best world-class beers in its huge halls and tents. Many tourists flock to the city for an Oktoberfest experience. Munich is also known for its open green spaces. An example would be the English Garden, a large beautiful park that you will find right in the middle of Munich. It's a lovely place to visit, whether you just want to see the greenery or you're looking for a place to stroll. Refreshments such as food and beer are also being sold nearby for your convenience. The gardens definitely make a beautiful addition to the city. The Christmas markets in Munich are also popular reasons for tourists to visit. Among the few, most well-known is the Christkindlmarkt. 
hailed for its very welcoming atmosphere that both tourists and the locals delight in. The market produces a great shopping experience as local products that make thoughtful gifts are sold throughout. There's also music and dancing to complete the nightlife. And of course, amazing food and drinks, including the world-famous Glühwein. For a dose of history and culture, there are the Munich Museums. The city is in fact known for its variety of museums catering to a vast range of interests. For instance, there's the old Pinakothek, an art museum. While there's the Deutsches Museum that's filled with all things science. Imagine, there's also a BMW museum specially dedicated to the vehicles. Last but not least are the Bavarian lakes and mountains. Here, you can use your car to zip through Munich's most beautiful lakes. To name a few, the Tegernsee, Schliersee, and Garmisch-Partenkirchen are only about an hour away. You can just sit back, relax, and appreciate the view. Barcelona Oh, Barcelona, there's nothing like this city. This sun-drenched place in Spain is teeming with attractions and activity you will surely want to take part in. What to do? First, find the food. Along Las Ramblas, you'll see rows of bars and traditional Catalan restaurants. The famous Placa Real also has the best nightclubs in the city. Live bands, indie rock music, and the like keep the scene alive. You can also chance upon hip-hop and dance classics if that's what you prefer. Walk further into Barcelona's older streets. Perky little cafes, tapas bars, and boutique shops line the old windy streets. It's great for strolling around in the afternoon or early evening. El Gotico and El Born are some of the popular ones known for its rustic charm. You'll also be amazed at the graffiti art that decorate these streets. The beaches in Barcelona are amazing as well. There's a certain type of beach for everyone, depending on the kind of vibe you're looking for. Barceloneta is the most popular one. However, it is overcrowded but the perfect place if you want to be part of all the action. Beach bars will blare loud reggae music, definitely enough to get you excited. Then there's a vermouth ritual, which you should definitely try. The tradition is simple. You just meet up with your friends and family before lunch and have a couple of vermouths and a little tapas. Of course, there are the famous tapas. Do as the locals and eat tapas by hopping from bar to bar. Sip on a drink as you sample the different tapas along the way. The goal is to visit as many as possible and try as much tapas as you can. Barcelona also boasts its craft beer scene. We all know how beer flows like water in Spain, but just imagine craft beer. Local Catalan brewers set up shop on a weekly basis and there are just tons to try. After all the food and good times, don't forget the historical spots. There's the famous Gothic church called Gaudi Sagrada Familia. Most notable are its dramatic spires, which will definitely inspire your creative side. The architecture is amazing and it feels like a different universe. Milan 
While Milan isn't much the first choice when visiting Italy, it is still worth the tour. A city of business and banking, shopping and fashion, you'll definitely fall in love with Milan. The commercial center of Italy, after all, is known for its stylish catwalk and famous shops. Plus, it's got a list of hidden wonders for you to discover. First, experience a breathtaking view of the city from the Duomo route. The famous Duomo, after all, is the center of all tourist activity in Milan. Take the elevator up and walk around the cathedral's roof to see the magnificent city from above. While the city is usually smoggy, obscuring your view, it's still worth the experience. Of course, the interiors of Duomo is already impressive to begin with. Next is a visit to the Santa Maria della Grazie Church. This is where you will find the famous Last Supper that many households have replicas of. You certainly shouldn't miss this chance to see a Da Vinci masterpiece up close. Getting tickets to view it may be difficult, but with good planning, it is still possible. Then of course, there are the beautiful parks around the city. Milan is definitely a bustling city, but there are places to take a break from all of the busyness. There are a couple of good-sized parks around the city. That'll be convenient for you to escape in for a while. Milan is also definitely a city for culinary treats. One of the popular must-tries are the Panzerotto or the Milanese fast food. It is a sweet and spongy piece of flatbread with mozzarella and tomato sauce. Of course, there are many other specialties to try aside from this. Next are the wondrous canals in the Navigli. Yes, there are canals in Milan, and one of them was designed by Da Vinci. The Navigli district has two canals, and you can take boat tours in it. It's also considered a haven for artists these days, and you may also come across small art galleries and charming restaurants nearby. It's also the place to be after dark, as the Navigli is known for its hip and happening nightlife. It's time for us to go! Pack your bags and get your tickets ready! And we'll see you on the next destination! Catch us again next time on Cities of the World!